Okay. Uh huh. What else? What else we got? Okay. Okay. Oh, so we're doing a little speaker work today, and it's only today is what Thursday. Okay, so we ahead of schedule then. That's what I'm talking about. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I hope y'all are having another good day, bringing y'all more content. So today, what we are doing is we are dropping some six and a half inch DS18 super loud speakers in the Impala. Uh, this car came with four speakers from the factory, and I found out today, or I found out the other day, that it has the stock speakers in it, the Delphi's or Delcos. It has the factory speakers in it, which I did not know that car still had that because I'm gonna be real with you. I got a little cheap Kenwood head unit in there and it sounded pretty good. Like it got loud, it was clear. I took all I take the bass out my door speakers all the time just because bass tears up small speakers. So I took the bass out, you know, turned the gain up a little bit or the mids on it and the highs a little bit. And it sounded pretty good, but I hooked up. I've, I've already done some test fitting because I wanted to make sure it was gonna work right. That way I'm not, I wasn't wasting my time filming. So uh, I'm going to show you all what I did so far and what I got going on and then go from there. So if you like the video, don't forget to smash the thumbs up. It helps out the videos, gets it out there to new people so they can see the content. And if you're not subscribed already, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Help the family out, join the family, all that good stuff. All right, so y'all sit back, stay tuned, and let's see what we're getting in. All right, all right. Okay, so if it's a little windy, I apologize. It's windy right now, but uh, hopefully my little wind mics can help. So once again, like I said, we got DS18 Pro six and a half inch uh, mid-range speakers that we are installing you can see that's the model number very good very good stats i think the rms so 480 max watts is the max wattage i'm not sure about the rms i think the rms is like uh, two i'd have to look at the box to be real with you i ain't even gonna say nothing nothing wrong okay so what i have here is a speaker adapter plate this plate is off a 2003 I shouldn't have thrown it in, in garbage. This is off a of 2003 and newer Toyota 4Runner. I'm trying, trying to let y'all get in that. And that's the part number SAT69. Okay, somebody on the Facebook group uh, commented that and told or told another dude, but I was reading the comments and told me about it and says it fits up good. So I took his word for it and it actually is pretty good, okay? So when we come over here, and again, like I said, I've been test fitting everything to make sure it's gonna work right, which it will, okay? So over here, we took out the original speaker. It has a factory bracket, took all that out. And what I did was I went ahead and I don't have it with me, but I have my my little grinder and I cut out a template for it. You can see right here where I cut at it because from the factory, this takes a four by six, but six and a half won't fit in there evenly. So DS18 is cool and they provide cardboard cutout template for your speaker for the mountain surface the mountain surface right so all i did was i placed it up there i grabbed the sharpie and then i sharpied it and then i came back with my grinder and i or my cutter and i cut cutting wheel and i cut it out it fits perfect um what else was i gonna say uh oh yeah and then i went ahead after that i got some liquid electrical tape okay so you can get that stuff from like walmart advance auto uh liquid electrical tape just to go around here and kind of, you know, and it smooths the surface one and two. I guess, it, I don't know, maybe it'll help with sound deadening, deadening or something. Uh, and then the speaker is heavy. I'm trying to do this with one hand and show y'all on the camera. Just suck it up, man it up. All right. And then we come in here. God dang it. Magnet sticking to the door. We come in here. And I've already mocked up my holes. You can see that's one hole there but I went ahead and got a little drill bit smaller than the screw I'm gonna be using and I went ahead and installed those in here uh, and it fits good so right now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and wire up the uh, spade connector terminals I have them over there on the top of my my tool cart aka trash can and I do have an actual tool cart it's behind there but that's something else all right so I'm gonna go ahead and wire these up so these are the factory plugs that plug in the door when I get the, once I get the speaker installed I'm gonna show y'all uh, better but I'm gonna go ahead I've already snipped them off the factory speakers and then I got these gold plated uh, spade connectors female spade connectors I never tried gold plated spade connectors I've always used just a little cheap aluminum or whatever they're made out of ones uh, apparently this one is good for audio systems and stuff so we're gonna you know we're, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna rock these I'm gonna test them out I went ahead and picked up some screws for the door, the door so I can screw the bracket to the door uh, and that's it y'all that's all we got going on so I'm gonna go ahead and mount that speaker up 
and then I'm gonna show y'all what we're working with once it's done. I'm gonna, and then I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put the door panel on, make sure that fits good, which it should. It should. Um, I don't see any issues. And if we do, we can adjust and correct fire and go from there. Another thing too, when I had this door panel off, I did have a small little crack in it. So to prevent it from getting worse, the cracks only from here to here, prevent it from moving up. I went ahead and got some uh, JB Weld, some clear JB. Y'all can't even see that. I went ahead and got some clear JB Weld and JB Welded this yesterday. Uh, just to kind of solidify it and help it out so that's ready to go uh, let's see let me think but yeah that's it that's it really oh and then for the back where are they at for the back of the the back speakers factory are six by nines and I bought some six by nine to six and a half inch uh, speaker adapter plates so we're gonna be using these plates in the back by the rear glass so besides that y'all we're moving ahead okay all right y'all so this is what I was talking about how the setup looks uh, again it works really clean man and all you got to do when you get this this uh, template in just go ahead you know mock it up to where it fits right for me that right there is a perfect fit you get that wire up in there that screw put one there and there and there everything is super secure it's not all flimsy and then right here is where the speaker wire connects so this right here is the original speaker wires plug and this was what was on the factory speaker so I just cut the wire off the speaker and reused the plug and it I mean it works it works great I just turned it on did a sound clip I'll play something at the end uh, I just gotta play something that won't get me copyrighted cuz you know YouTube uh, copyrighted and all that and demonetizing and crazy stuff so we got this done so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the door panel on make sure it fits with the door panel which I don't see it being an issue cuz it barely protrudes out so uh, yeah let's do it Ooh, let it go on the record that I did not break this. Okay, this was like this when I went to take it off. I should I should have filmed it before, but uh, I'm gonna I went ahead. I'm already doing a driver door right now or passenger door. I'm gonna go ahead and finish taking that off. But before I finish, I am going to reset this and I'm gonna plasti weld the back side of it so it stays closed and doesn't. It just solidifies it more, man. This pl these plastics, man. I don't know what plastic they thought was the best back in the 90s but this ain't it but we got the uh driver door all back on everything went good uh, my little well job did it held up good because now it's solid before it used to flex right here but now it's like it's it solidified it so i got some five minute epoxy i'm gonna do that one too that way it's caring while i'm swapping out the speakers on that door I get nervous every time I take these panels off, man. I swear, it, it you can t t take these off a million times, and I still get nervous taking them off. Just especially because these plastics, you know, they make a bunch of noise and stuff, man. It's all uh, see, I just heard like when I close it, it sounded a little weird, a little different, man. I'm just paranoid right now. So <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and fix that up real quick, and I went ahead, dabbed a little one minute epoxy on there. Just to help solidify it a little bit. I know it's upside down. Let's see if that does any, anything. I don't know what that does. But yeah. So we're going to let that cure. Now we're going to go over here take this panel off and keep busting it out. Alright y'all. So I figured uh, I'll stop right here and kind of show what I'm doing. Just because I was. Once I get on the road man. Sometimes I forget to film. And I know y'all want to see what, what's going on. Alright. So this is the original speaker four by six um when i take it off i'm taking out the entire piece so what i'll do i already unplugged it right here as you know and i have i bought this from harbor freight y'all this is right here is like a very good investment it's like six dollars and it just pops off uh it pops your clips out for you and you just squeeze it boom so you don't break you don't break your clips and it, you don't struggle trying to get them out so now i'm gonna take this out get the template i'm gonna put the template up mark it cut it get the new speakers put them in wire it back up put everything back together all right y'all so went ahead and did my little stencil cut out okay so we got that i used the marker and the stencil cut out ds18 hooked it up man i'm so glad they provided that because if they didn't provide that i would have had to make my own cut out which i mean it's not hard but just have and it's each speaker comes with one and i've only used one so it's like that's really convenient right there because I'm sure six and a half doesn't go on a lot of vehicles so you have to make it fit if you want it to fit. I got my die grinder or my little grinder down there cutting wheel a pair of goggles safety first you only get one pair of eyes all right let's go ahead and cut this open
freaking air compressor ran out of juice. I had it wide open almost the whole time. So got the left side out. You see it's down there. Got this side uh, almost done. Just got to cut that little middle piece out. You could come in here with a, a grinding wheel and smooth it down, but when I put that electric uh, or that liquid electric tape on there, it, it, it like rubberizes it, so it's not sharp and jagged. Uh, plus, I think it acts as a nice little 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 cushion. I don't know if that makes sense, but a little dampener between the speaker and the, the door, so it's not metal on metal contact. Because I went ahead and I'm gonna put it all the way around the surface. So just waiting to get some juice, and then I'm gonna cut this little. Like I said, cut that piece out. Now I'll go ahead. Come in here with some of this bad boy right here. So some time went by, more like an hour. I lost an hour because, so I got this one put on. I put the speaker on and I turned on the radio to make sure you know this one worked too. No sound at all, out of nothing. First I thought the radio was messed up and then I was like, it can't be because it was just playing music a second ago. So long story short, I had to go to the driver's side door to re take off the panel, which taking off that panel, it sucks. I ain't gonna lie, taking off the, all these door panels suck just because you don't want to break shit. Um, I had to go over there, take everything off, and basically the speaker was touching the, the frame, and I guess it was grounding itself out, so it wouldn't play any music anywhere. So legitimately, I took it all off, played with it, and I realized when I would touch it a certain way, it would play, but when I take my hand off, I did. So I loosened the screws, I, I, I clocked it to the left like two degrees, and it started playing music, and I like checked, verified everything, it was still playing, so I, I finally buttoned everything up on that side, and then I came over here and buttoned up this side. With the, and I had the music playing the entire time just to make sure. I, I opened and closed the door just to make sure that it wasn't going to ground out or do anything weird again. So now we're going to do the back speakers. You can try. You can pop the covers off in the back. Here, I'll show you all real quick. You can pop the covers off in the back in here if you want. But you highly risk cracking those plastics back there too. So what you can do is come in the trunk. And there's a lot of room in here too, so if you're a small guy, this is perfect. You come in here, and you see the, if you look, you can see those tabs. One second, let me adjust. You come in here, and those little gold tabs, you see those four tabs? There's four tabs that hold, or it should be, yeah, it's four. I see them. Four or three of those little gold tabs, just push them up from in here. That way you don't break that piece. Once you take the piece off and pop it off the cover, you just go in the back and just unbolt it and put the new speaker in. Simple. So, knock on wood. Best thing I got. Uh, this will work. <laughs> All right, y'all. So it's the next morning now. I'm gonna go ahead. I got the speakers in. I'm gonna show y'all what I did in the back. Uh, it, the changing out the back speakers takes like it took me probably about I want to say 20. Uh, it took probably about 25, 30 minutes because. So when I did the back speakers, a second, get the phone on. When I did the back speakers, those aren't even the back speakers. God damn. <laughs> when I did the back speakers, they had six by nines in there, and then I put six and a half, so I had to use speaker adapters. And the speaker adapters I got to convert six by nines to uh, five or six and a half, uh, it had too much. So you can see right here, this black ring is from the original speaker uh, adapter, and I had to get my my Dremel and cut it out to fit, and I just used that cutout that. DS18 sent me and I was able to get it in so we come over here in the back and I'm, about, I'm actually about to start working on the front suspension I'm changing out tie rods ball joints upper control arms sway sway links and etc I left one of the panels off in here so y'all can see it what the new speaker looked like 
all right so that's it um and it has the little cones so you can see the adapters are set up and then the six and a half uh the cover it doesn't hit the cover which is good you know what i'm saying it doesn't stick out it's flush actually it's countersunk um but yeah and they sound good they sound good so what i'm gonna do now is i'll get in the driver's seat and uh go ahead and put on some non-copyright music and let y'all hear what it sounds like all right y'all so i finally it took me like five minutes but i finally got some music that i can play uh, hopefully I won't get copyrighted. We'll find out. But yeah, this is what it sound like. So hopefully you heard that it sounded good. Uh, it sounds really good in person. I don't know how good it's gonna sound on the camera, but it sounds really good. And inside the car, it's loud. It's loud. Um, I it was low at first when I first had it on was because my phone Bluetooth the volume was like turned down a lot, so I had to turn the volume up on my phone. Um, but it's loud. That suckers. <laughs> these suckers are loud. And the thing about it is they're not even working their full potential because these are I only I found out. 260 watt RMS each speaker uh, so these speakers aren't even putting out I'd probably say a quarter of what they're potentially capable of because your stock units usually put out 50 watts or something like that usually you got to get an aftermarket deck uh, in order to get the full uh, performance out of it you know what I'm saying so that's it hopefully you guys enjoyed the video thank you guys so much for joining um i'm about to roll right into filming another video uh with the suspension we're doing upper control arms lower ball joints all top all the steering is getting replaced uh idler arm all that junk uh sway bar bushings sway bar links actually i gotta check make sure i have the links but we're changing out everything on this on the suspension i got new shocks too um i'm gonna be putting the the shocks on the front right now but for the rears i might be holding up because i got wheels on the way and i might have to get air air shocks shocks that i have to air up with like you know air compressor chuck um i won't find out though for sure until i put the wheels on if i put the wheels on and it sits the way i want it to sit i'll uh leave it and put the new shocks on it but if it's gonna sit kind of funky funky i'm probably gonna get air shocks that way i can level level out the the vehicle but also lift the back up a little bit just so the tires wouldn't rub inside the wheel well so we'll find out though but thank you guys so much until next time take care be safe like comment subscribe and i will see y'all soon